where the Dragons attack to come from today. Let's take a look at the Dragons side. No changes as Russell Fairfax told us off the top of our pre-game show. Ben Hornby, of course, the fullback. Mark Gasnier there in the centres on one side of the field with Cooper on the left-hand side. Barrett and Head are the halves. The interesting positional change or uh, alignment, if you like, is Brent Kite starting in the front row. But I think he'll scout out wider as he uh, normally does with Lance Thompson playing in the front row. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they do line up. I don't think it'll change Thompson's role at all. Thompson's a bit of a workhorse. He'll continue to carp the ball forward. You mentioned Kite. He likes getting a little bit wider, can push into space. He's a bit of a dynamic runner of the football, likes picking on little people in the defensive line. But the Dragons, when you look at their back line, got plenty of strike. While I believe they'll test the Tigers around the middle of the park, in behind the ruck, I'd like to see them have a bit more ball movement than what they've had in the past few weeks, though. So. All right, well, let's go back downstairs. Russell Fairfax is with the coaches. He's starting off with Nathan Brown. Well, Nathan Brown, it could be any team today. It just happens to be the West Tigers, but today's all about consistency, backing up what you did last week. Yeah, I think uh, the key for us is definitely last week we defended great, and this week if we can take that sort of enthusiasm and intensity out there, well, we'll be reasonably happy because I think that'll be a big start for us to, to have our second win in a, in a row. West Tigers don't, uh, don't score a lot of tries, but they're very tight up the middle. They concede the least amount of breaks in the league at this particular stage. You, you ready for a drag them down, knock them out kind of game? Well, we sort of watching all the Tigers games this year. They've won a couple that went right to the pretty much to the death, obviously against the Cowboys. They they skipped away a little bit there early, but the Cowboys really struggled to score on them, and it was a credit to to the Tigers' defence. And when the Broncos beat beat the Tigers, it took them like about 75 minutes to to actually put them away. And I think if you look at the Premiership table, Broncos' form's holding up pretty well. So uh, we know that it's going to be a game that'll that's going to go to that sort of nth degree. And you know we're just hoping we're the side that puts in the hard enough work and has that touch of luck. So we're the side that comes out on top. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you. Tim Sheen's chasing back-to-back -back victories for the first time since early 2002. I know you're quietly confident, but why should you be confident? What, what about your boys today? Well, we've had an injury-free week and a, uh, and a good week behind the win last week. Um, and they've trained enthusiastically. So, you know, as a coach, you sleep a little better with that. Although people reminding me that we haven't had ba and reminding us that we haven't had back-to-back -back wins for such a long time doesn't help. But, uh, yeah, we're, not, we're, we're trying to put that behind us and not worrying about that so much as... Uh, is trying to, with a bye next week, trying to finish off um, you know, the first five rounds with a positive result. Talking about positive, you think the Dragons in a very positive frame of mind after their big win last week? Yeah, certainly. Look, um, yeah, they played very well, but the competition never goes that way week in and week out, does it? Look at, look at Newcastle last night. So, you know, anything can happen. It's a game of football every week, and uh, it doesn't matter where you, what you did last week. If we come out and play positively and, um, and deny them early results, then I think uh, we can get into the game. Good luck today. Thanks, Russell. Thanks, Tim. Tim Sheen's there with Russell. From Telstra Stadium in Sydney, it's the West Tigers versus the St George Illawarra Dragons. Yes, we are live on Easter Sunday here at Telstra Stadium for the first game of this double header. We'll have the Tigers and the Dragons for you. And then coming up later on tonight on Fox Sports 1 at 6 p.m., we'll bring you the Bulldogs and the Sea Eagles. But plenty of Dragons fans, as usual, have made the trek here to Homebush to watch their side go around and see if one of the, one of the few times in recent times they can make it back-to-back -back wins. Both of these sides have struggled to do that in the last couple of seasons. 2002 was the last time the Tigers did it, and you have to go back to mid-season in 2003 for the Dragons to come up with a similar feat. There is the Dragons' back line. Hornby, Blacklock, Gaznia, Cooper, Simmons, Barrett and Head. That's the way they'll start the game as we look inside the Tigers' dressing room, of course. No changes to either side. Nick Graham walking through screen there will be playing wide on the left-hand side as usual as the Dragons forward pack. You look at their dressing room as well. Bailey, Riddell, Kite, Young, Thompson and Timmons is the way they'll take the field. And of course their bench today has Ashton Sims, Justin Poor, Michael Howe and Lincoln Withers. The former Tiger himself. It was good last week. His work out of dummy half Put the Newcastle Knights out on a number of occasions. His kicking game on a wet day down there in Wollongong was very effective as well, Laurie Daly. Well, it certainly was. It needs to be effective again this afternoon, Warren. It's been a bit of a concern, I suppose, over the last few weeks is their kicking game, the Dragons. It's been a mixture, but they realise with a good kicking game, get the Tigers working off 
their own try line, try and force some mistakes with an aggressive defensive, de uh, uh, aggressive defensive line, I'm sorry. They can force some errors out of this West Tigers outfit. I'm sure the Tigers would have been working hard on all week to try and contain Riddell near dummy half. The good go forward off Bailey, Thompson, these type of men. They do create good opportunities for the Dragons outside men. The Sun trying to break through here at Telstra Stadium. And Trent Barrett will lead the Dragons down the tunnel with a personal cheer squad. The kids who might have overdosed on the lollies over at the Easter show have made their way to Telstra Stadium. And fairly excited down there as the Dragons work their way onto this famous field. We've seen some terrific rugby league moments here at Telstra Stadium. Of course, this side figuring in the first grand final here back in 1999. They looked likely winners against the Melbourne Storm for a long time. Of course, it was the initial year of the joint venture between the St George Dragons and the Illawarra Steelers. There are plenty of Red Vs in the crowd here today, though. And they'll see if their side can chalk up successive wins. So good last week. Their defence was first class against the Newcastle Knights. We'll see how many points, though, they can score against a good defensive outfit in the Tigers here this afternoon. Bailey out there will play in the front row this afternoon with Lance Thompson, even though he's listed to start his usual jumper in the second row. He'll play a front rower's role here this afternoon. He's been terrific last week, Lance Thompson. A couple of weeks ago against the Warriors, he was outstanding and he backed it up with a solid performance. Defensively was solid, good out of dummy half. He carts the football up, been named in the second row, probably play a lot tighter than what Brent Kite will. He's an experienced player, but only still 26 years of age. And last week, 20 tackles, 19 hit ups, 153 metres. He looks as though he's ready to go this afternoon. And the Dragons, they want back-to-back -back victories as the Tigers now make their way down the tunnel. We'll see what they can come up with here this afternoon. Impressive so far defensively, as we said, in 2004. Wins against the Cowboys last week. And, of course, the Sharks here at Telstra Stadium back in round one as Scott Sattler leads them out. A good pickup for them in the offseason was Jason Moody. He's supposed to be retiring at the end of last season, but has scored four tries in four games for the Tigers. Yeah, he's been excellent, Jason Moody, of course, coming in as a late replacement for Pat Richards. And Sheens was looking to use Richards as maybe a seventh forward, just going off the wing, cart the ball forward. But Moody's done an excellent job himself. He's picked up a few tries. Look for the combination of he and Shane Elford this afternoon. It's been quite exciting to start the year off. There is Jason Moody, 29 years of age now. He will play out the season with the Tigers. And it will be the Tigers to defend the northern end of Telstra Stadium. Run from your left of screen, Tony Archer is our referee. And his hands full last week against the Sharks. And they played the Rabbitohs at Aussie Stadium. It's Patterson who will bring it out for the Tigers up towards the 20. Fitzhenry from dummy half bypasses Scandalis to give it to Prince as they go wide early on here through the hands there of Reynolds it comes eventually to Nick Graham he'll play it to Hodgson from dummy half the fullback goes to take it outside the 20. Tiger spreading the ball early on here as Sattler hits it up towards the 30 meter line Fitzhenry starting it once again in that dummy half role of course with Darren said out of action for some weeks to come with a broken arm. Ree Simmons with the kick return. And the Dragons have it in good position with their first touch of the ball. Yeah, good start for the West Tigers. Looking to get it, Barrett and Gaznia early in the tackle count. And of course, a couple of weeks here, uh, weekends ago, that's exactly what they tried to do with the Brisbane Broncos. Get to Brent Tate and Darren Lockyer. Great run though by Lance Thompson. Taking it forward in the front row as roll. Here's Timmons now with a bit of space Just to move Nick, the Tigers. Make it. Up inside the 10. Penalty here and two points. The Dragons first set of six. And from 30 metres out and just to the right-hand side of the post, they'll attempt to put first points on the board here. Yeah, good little play there by Sean Timmons. Angling in behind the back of the play the ball. They get a bit wide in the middle of the ruck, the West Tigers. 
and the Dragons with Riddell getting out, pulling his forwards on the advantage line, and their outside backs are some of the best in the business. Of course, Gaznia, Cooper, Rishi Simmons, Blacklock out of dummy half. They all can make good ground. Tigers must be aware. Well, Mark Riddell will do the kicking while ever he's on the field here this afternoon. He's been kicking fairly well so far in 2004. Chance to get them a couple of points early on here. Looking into the sunlight, the northwest corner of Telstra Stadium. Don't bother him. through his regular routine long time lining it up the kick was a good strike but it was away to the left hand side and we stay locked up nil all here between the tigers and the dragons yeah i thought the dragons might have kept the pressure on maybe elected to go for this touch find up and go for the set of six As tim sheen's looking on from the sideline looking nice hey, and I'm relaxed waiting. but it is a drop out they will get the ball stay back behind. It's Scott Sattler who provides the dropout from the 20 metre line. It comes down to Head who gives it off to Bailey who runs with Shane Elford who was so impressive in this right centre position for the Tigers in the round one win against the Sharks. A number of long breaks down this side of the field that he plays on in the first half as Kite takes it up through the middle of the Tigers defensive line and then a couple of extra metres when he gets to them as well. He'll play it at the 30. Barrett gets to first receiver. Thompson puts it down. Knock on. No, he goes in front of him, mate, so that makes it a knock-on. He was hitting it at speed, and it was a pretty simple put-down in the end. Yeah, should have been caught by Lance Thompson. They're rolling the ruck pretty easy at the moment. A lot of space in behind that play the ball. They certainly got to work on that, the West Tigers. I think they're concerned about the spreads and the pace out wide of the Dragons, but they've got to be able to stop the go forward early. Sattler will play it here, 15 short of the halfway line. Tigers' defensive line gives up more metres than any other team in the league, but so far in 2004, they've conceded the fewest tries of any teams of the 15. They like to hang on their heels and maintain a straight line. They don't rush move. up all that much, though. Luke, move. No, not dominant that one, I call those. And they'll get a penalty here to take them inside the Dragons' territory for their first... Attacking rate of the game. Mark, Kite and Bailey in there. Too slow to get off Chris Patterson. I'll have it from just outside the Dragons 30. Fitzhenry with the tap. Go to Prince. He's got Scandalous outside him. Thompson came up quickly to meet him. Prince from dummy half showing it. Turning it back on the inside for Patterson. But he's met there by Riddell and also Timmons. They spread to the left-hand side, but they come down this short side again. Hodgson, second man play there. Elford, and the decoy ahead of the ball, but the Dragons were able to realign themselves. O'Neill is taking it to the line. He'll play it nine out. Fitzhenry from dummy half can be dangerous with his speed out of that position. Scandalous will play it in front of the post. Last play. As it goes to Reynolds, he puts a chip into the air. A chance for Moody flying high. Come down with it. In fact, it's Robin Miles who's come down with it for the Tigers. Yeah. And they're the onside, confident mate. they've scored the first try the here. The onside and also the one-on-one. -on -one. We're looking for onside, one-on-one. -on -one. Miles certainly leaped high. Always going to have the advantage over Blacklock. Blacklock was looking into the sun. He was planted. Got a question mark on whether he's onside or not. Well, Nick Graham is certainly in front. I don't think yes, Miles is. Now, does he take any part in it, Nick Graham? I think he's within 10. I don't think this will be a try. He moves forward. We saw a couple of weeks ago. I've got no worries with the take or the strip from Robbie Miles. I've got a bit of a problem with Nick Graham being offside and just moving forward. A couple of weeks ago, the Cowboys player, Lee McWilliams, passed from dummy half backwards. And he just started to move forward. The memo was sent out, you have to either stay still or come backwards. To me, Graham's, well, if I had to take a guess, 
I would, would say, say he's offside. He's offside. He looks that way, and then floating through, has no part to play. And then perhaps only at the death when he realises that Miles has come down with the football, does he start to back away from the action. Now, he has absolutely no part to play, but as you say, he is certainly within that 10-metre circle, in which the referees and the video referees refer to. Now, video referee here this afternoon is Paul Simpkins. The Tigers, I think they've been hardly done by if they don't come up with points here, but it's a tight one as to whether Graham is, in fact, offside when Reynolds put the kick up. No try and a penalty, and that's exactly what Paul Simpkins has seen, and Tim Sheens is a little mystified. Well, I think he would be a little bit mystified, but we get the advantage up here to be able to scrutinise everything and go over it. And he was just a little bit, well, I believe, obviously Simpkins believes that he was a little bit in front. And I'm sure once they have a look at it on replay, they will realise that that's the case. But it's such a, a grey area too, isn't it? Well, it's a grey area becoming more black and white, perhaps, as weekends go on. And it will reinforce in the men outside kickers or anybody who gets involved in the play when the kick goes either along the ground or in the air, they just can't get anywhere within that 10-metre circle if they think they are in front of the kicker. A good kick here from the Dragons. And they'll force the Tigers to work it away from a scrum from their own 10-metre line. Yeah, that'll be a big blow to the Tigers' confidence. I think if they are to believe in themselves that they can beat this Dragons outfit, they need to get away to a good start. That would have been the perfect opportunity. But the Dragons, they responded. They get a 20-metre restart. And the next thing you know, at the end of the set of six, there's a scrum 10 metres out from the Tigers' try line. Get in and stay in. A Prince from the base of the scrum. Give it off to Elford who was picked up and now Reynolds looking in behind Hodgson there grabbed by Ben Hornby Graham quickly from the scrum came to Blacklock and was able to pinch 15 or so metres and get a penalty holding back down on the head you let him go when you're on the bottom once again the Tigers get a penalty inside their own half and we'll see having just been denied what they thought was a fair try he can come down the field here and put some more pressure on this Dragons line. Patterson is the man who hits it up. And if it comes to fifth tackle again, you'd be expecting the kick to go out to Blacklock again. Double up on the plate. Scandalous plays it midfield just outside the 30. The pass wasn't a great one from Fitzhenry, and in the end, they turned it over. Young came up with it for the Dragons. Simple mistake by the Tigers on the attack early in the set of six. And here's Bailey playing at the halfway line now as Riddell shows it one way, comes back the other, and Kite rolls it inside the Tigers' 40. Barrett standing close at first receiver. Hornby to Timmins, back on the inside for Gaznia, who steps away from one Tigers defender easily. He's so good on his feet, isn't he? Riddell from dummy half, showing it. Cuts out Bailey to give it to Young. He's only 15 away from this Tigers line when he plays it here on the last play in this set. Head. This kicking game has been good, but this time he passes to Barrett. The pass, though, went Change forward, over, no it looks like, on in. the last play. Where you are. Thompson was the target once again here. The Tigers hang on, and they'll have it from a changeover. They like that play, the Dragons, where Barrett goes to the line, or Head goes to the line, looking to pick up the short runner or play in behind. They've done it a couple of times, they've hit the short runner. Maybe it's time to go out the back. The Tigers are coming up. And here's a chance for Moody. Some space to move down the sideline. Too quick for Bailey, although he got a hand to him with an ankle tap, and it might have saved the try. Fitzhenry goes to Sattler as they spread it quickly back to the left-hand side. Here's Hodgson back on the inside. Got to make anyone pass, but they were up inside ten the minutes. 10 out wide. Hang on, wait, wait, hey, wait. No, no, in line with the touch shows, mate called all offside. But if we Let's get go. back with you, who's marking yeah, it? No, him. You come out with so, me, I'm there as well. Where you go. Two points. Well, the Tigers will ignore between us two. trying to keep the pressure on here. Trent Barrett can argue with Tony Archer. I just spoke to him. But he's not going to reverse this decision. He thought the defensive line was back with Tony Archer and also the touch judge. Archer disagrees. Yeah, well, I think Trent and Gaznia were back, but I don't think the tighter defenders were. You could see Archer standing on the line. 
then again, he'd just Brent, just go over money, out wide and give the penalty over where Barrett and them were defending. But no doubt people were in front of the kicker, but I think it's... It's a good question, though, by Trent Barrett to ask. They were back with the referee who's controlling the game. Whether it is the touch judge who they've got to get back with or it's a referee if he's standing at eight metres and the touches are back ten. Hodgson. Well, I'm pretty much right in front of the post here. Liddell missed with an early penalty attempt. And now Hodgson does as well for the Tigers. Both kickers 0 for 1 to start this game as Tim Sheens talks to his coaches high in the grandstand here at Telstra Stadium. Just over 10 minutes gone. No score as yet. Hornby. Driving it long and low off the dropout. They had a long time before Reynolds picks it up and gives it off to Scandalis. He'll play it. Eight on his own side of halfway. Fitzhenry coming to Patterson. They'll work it across the halfway line. Chances early on for both teams. Fitzhenry, out of dummy half, scampers for a gain of about 10. He runs into a strong tackle by Dean Young. I'm sure the Dragons be well aware of Fitzhenry's ability from dummy half. Last year really carved the Dragons up in that first game. Started at 5-8, later in the game was put in that position, made plenty of yards. Here's Gandalis offloading to Prince, a chance for the Tigers here. Prince knew there was a chance, he was trying to slip the ball away to Reynolds in behind the defence. In the end he coughed it up trying to offload and Thompson has it. Well the passes aren't sticking for the West Tigers but they're looking to use the football a lot more than they have in the last couple of weeks. I believe that that's when they're at their best if they control the footy. There were signs there against the Brisbane Broncos where they look dangerous when they use the ball laterally after having good go forward. They have it here, 35 out from the Tigers' line with Barrett playing it. Comes to Timmins now. One good run earlier in the game. Looking for a fast play the ball. Gasmier fires it to Barrett. Head held up there by Fitzhenry. Last play. And the Dragons might think about putting it through the hands. Here's Barrett. In fact, he does chip over the top. Hodgson thought he might have made it back to the in goal area to take it on the full, but... Tony Archer said it was play on. He left from the field of play, and it's Miles from dummy half now. Good run from the winger. He's been, he's been a good buyer, hasn't he, Brett Hodgson, for the West Tigers. He's been in the right positions to receive the football from any kicks. You're not marking, he gets mate. it on the full. Moody out of dummy half. Working a penalty. Archer okay. wants a word to Thompson. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah. Okay, just, I don't just relax. Yeah. The thing is, mate, I'm, in, my, in my mind, yeah. I'm with you the whole time. No, it wasn't a matter of being with me, mate. You've got to go straight. No, no, Your second mark is straight in line. You're in front of him. That's what it's for. I called him offside. Well, there's the play the ball, and it would seem to be fairly obvious that Lance Thompson wasn't there at the first mark of position yeah. in time. Yeah, you're totally correct there, Warren. Thompson trying yeah. to say to the referee, he believes in his mind that he was straight, but he wasn't square. Can't get frustrated, the Dragons. Sattler firing a nice ball to Reynolds. Graham running the angle back in towards the middle of the traffic. Out there by Kite and also Thompson. Scandalis goes for a run out of dummy half. But just outside the Dragons 40. A number of times now early in this game, they hear some penalties to put themselves in attacking positions. Hodgson to Sattler. Runs to them and then gives it off to Prince. Stepping. Had the ball stripped zero. down. That will be the zero tackle now. And Scandalis has it for the Tigers with six more tackles. He's knocked out by a stray dragon hand there. And now Sattler taking it to the line. Runs into Bailey. Drops it out the back for Fitzhenry. And they'll stop him at the 20. Sattler. And go to Reynolds with Graham outside him. Wilson. Trapping around the back of him, but he couldn't get the ball to him. The player just inside the 20. Wilson from dummy half. Ducking away. There's something of a prolific try scorer for the Tigers. Reynolds gives it to Scandalis. A short ball for Patterson, and they got up to meet him. Good tackle by Bailey and also Kite. Reynolds at first receiver. Trying to grub her off the legs of Hodgson. It comes for Dean Young. The kick wasn't a good one from the Tigers. Oh, they would have been in a little bit of trouble there, the Dragons, if the Tigers were able to thread that kick through. A lot of tackles on their line. They held out well. What a tackle by Kite on Patterson. The tackle had to be made one-on-one. -on -one, front rower on front rower. And he come up with the goods. Riddell 
from dummy half running a long way looking behind him all the time for support as well a danger to duck under a tackle and go a long way if given the chance barrett from just outside the 40 kicks down the middle of the field as it turns out anyway and honson taking it on his own 10 to bring it back to this dragons chase team head was there with the help also of dean young moody to miles and to get in and help out in the early tackles from their own end it's done a good job of it as well so far in this game for Tenry. Pop it a skip out of dummy half before he was wrapped up by Timmons. Here's Prince to scan Dallas. Trying to spin in the tackle. He'll play it just on his own side of halfway. 15 minutes gone here at Telstra Stadium. Still no score. The Tigers and the Dragons. Graham will play it here on the last. Prince. This time in the crossfield bombing. Not a lot of pressure though on Reece Simmons. The Tigers were 10 metres away when he took it. They got there to wrap him up inside the Dragons 20. Touchy, Here's touch. Cooper. Touchy. Just about his first touch in the game. Much traffic coming down the left-hand side for the Dragons. In this opening to the game. Hornby does well. Thompson from Dummy Hart. Runs it. Nick Graham. See the Tigers, they just wait on their defensive line. They don't move up too quickly. They give up some metres, but they don't miss too many tackles. Well, they conserve a little bit of energy by doing that. They're prepared to back their scramble defence. But you are concerning a lot of field position, a lot of metres in the middle of the park. Good work, John Wilson, covering the cross. The kick from hand was a good one. Put some pressure on the Tigers, and Blacklock was chasing through. But Wilson saw the danger, floated back with the play, and the bounce at him right on the chest. Scandalous. We'll play at 15 short of the halfway line here. It's up into double figures already in the hit-ups department. They move it quickly through O'Neill, away to Welford, but Matthew head up there to make the tackle on him. Changes for the Tigers. Up there in 17 is Bryce Gibbs, which is the start of the game in 16, so a jumper change for the Tigers, which might well see a fine from the NRL. Gee, I thought they could have ran the football there on the last play. Head coming out of the line. It was a long pass by Prince onto Benny Reynolds. They had the numbers. Blacklock was dropped back deep. Need to be aware, maybe a running play on the last tackle. From Dummy Hart. With us. Getting his chance in the game midway through this first half. Play the ball for Head, who will rub it for the corner. Hodgson was urgent to get back there before it got to the in goal area. In the end, he's almost knocked over the sideline by Reece Simmons. Moody here from Dummy Half. Great run by the winger Moody. He had nowhere else to go. He got round Cooper, who's one of the quickest and best defenders in the game. Ernie's side 10 yards. That was a tough run. Had to be made. Got the Tigers out of a bit of trouble. Reynolds going wide again to Graham. And shifted it to the left to the wide side a couple of times now. Sean, you know, mate, you've got to keep him down. He knows Trent. Hey, come on, mate. He knows Sean Timmons has been penalised for a high him. tackle here on Graham. Nothing silly. Just a lazy right arm. He flung it out there. Caught Graham high. And yet again, the Tigers working up the field courtesy of a Dragons penalty. Yeah, they've certainly been giving some piggyback penalties away the drags there wasn't too much in that from Timmons but it was around the neck area and we see now the referees crack right down on anything around that area Fitzhenry taking the tap and going himself he'll play it five on his own side of halfway Wilson from dummy half turns it back on the inside for Scandalis who Looking to bounce up and play it quickly. It's the Dragons on their heels, but they got back to the 10 metre line in time. Here's O'Neill now. Coming back on the angle towards the middle of the park. He'll play it to Sattler. He looks for a rush down this blind side. He's got Reynolds with him and also Elford there. He'll play it. A couple of tackles left in this set at the Dragons 30. Sattler to Bryce Gibbs. Runs at Thompson. Hits the deck pretty quickly. And the last play now, Prince. We'll go high in the air again. Here's Miles putting more pressure on Blacklock. Miles got a hand to it, but put a foot Thanks, on mate. the touchline to before over. leaving the ground. Are, and it will come back out to the 20 for the Dragons to restart it. 
Well, it was a tremendous kick by Scotty Prince. And again, getting up there, Robbie Miles, all he had to do was come down with it. I suppose that's an area that the Tigers can look to get some advantage over the Dragons. The Dragons' wingers aren't quite tall. They're both little tiny men, whereas Moody and Miles are good height, and they both can leap for the football. That'll be an option I'll be looking for on fifth tackle. Withers giving it to Young. Pop the pass away to Ashton Sims. It's his chance off the bench. 20 minutes gone in this first half. Hornby from dummy half. Thompson and then Timmons. Grab down low by Reynolds with Sattler over the top. Thompson just taking it away from dummy half. It's been fairly safe football. Both teams getting through their sets with fairly efficient sets of six to start this game. Barrett. Searching run, but stopped there by Scandalis. Head. Another chip in behind them. This time, it's Miles coming across who came up with the ball and Withers, his former Tigers there, teammate who has collected in a heavy Stay tackle. There, Stay there, mate. This time off. Stay there, mate. He's not well, Robbie Miles. Stay there. Lincoln He's Withers, the a little man, out. certainly one of the best hitters in the league, and he put a good shot here on a Miles. Well, they've tried this reverse banana kick this afternoon a couple of times, the Dragons. This time, it split the winger and fullback. And Miles picked the football up, he attacked the football, but Withers was coming through, got a tremendous shot on. You watch this. Miles comes across, picks it up at speed. Withers is there, bang in, and then the head makes contact with the ground also. Yeah, no, no, I know that, mate. I was just trying to tackle one. We're Withers. concerned here for the right knee of Robert Miles, which I think he landed awkwardly on as he picked up the ball. There wasn't, as it turned out, too much in the tackle. Certainly no head clash with Withers yes, and Miles. And watches his right knee just on that step there as he propped on it. Withers pounced on him and the weight might have buckled that knee of Robert Miles. And you see Brian Hyder, the trainer for the West Tigers, checking out Robbie Miles' knee. Well, they could ill afford another injury to the West Tigers. They have had a horrific start to the year with injuries. They've got plenty of people missing. Pat Richards is basically out for close to the full season. LaFranchi, Butner, Centre, Marshall, Payton. There's quite a list they've racked up in the first month of the season. And of course, before that, Pat Richards injuring his knee in the pre-season. Would be an anxious Tim Sheens watching on. They will give Robbie Miles a chance to run it out out there on the wing for the Tigers, but he looks fairly ginger. He makes his way back out to the left-hand side for them. Scandalis playing it. Fitzhenry from dummy half. Gives it off to Sattler. Gibbs. And a number of teenagers in this side today for the Tigers. Camped here. And into the field. They've had plenty of ball, haven't they? Courtesy of those... Dragons penalties to start this game. The kick isn't a deep one from Prince. Simmons links up with Hornby. The Dragons have it at the halfway line and beyond. Well, that was an unusual kick by Scotty Prince. He I think he changed his mind. I think he was going to go for a short kick over the top, which wouldn't have been a bad option. The Dragons were certainly deep as the Dragons go right with Gaznia back on the inside to Barrett. And linking up with Hornby. They went to the side that Miles defends on. He's in all sorts of trouble. And the Dragons, some good thinking and some quick hands, and they score the first points of the game. It was great work by the Dragons, realising that Miles, he's struggling. They went straight down there, good vision by Barrett. And leaving Gaznia one-on-one with Reynolds. Miles was in all sorts. And then Hornby backing up, getting the first four-pointer of the afternoon. But that come on the back of some good defence, the previous set of six. They earn their right then. You can see Miles in the background just hopping on one leg. But they earned the right from the set of six previously. They defended great. The Tigers put in a terrible kick and were made to pay. Handing the ball back to the Dragons, good field position. And then the wits of some of the Dragons players were able to spot the advantage. And there we see Miles getting taken from the field. Well, they took the punt and leaving Robert Miles out there. And it's cost them 
you would have to say four points and perhaps six here with this kick to come. An easy one. Matthew head first up here from wide out. He has the honours with Mark Riddell off the field. Took a long time to get a score in this game. 20 minutes and beyond. From the 20 metre line, five in from touch. The strike from head is a very good one. Across the black dot, it travels, and the Dragons lead the Tigers six points to nil. The Tigers denied an early try by the video referee who found Nick Graham offside when Robert Myers looked to have scored. And as it turns out, rather ironic that it was the injury to Myers which allows the Dragons to go down the right corridor and end up with a try to Ben Hornby. Hodson with the restart. Hornby plays it off the leg. Some pressure now on the fullback, and he only just got there in time. Moody, having crossed that left-hand side for the Tigers, almost got there to can't claim possession. Thompson will play it back to Withers. Sims, big and rangy. He takes it all the way to the 40. He plays it pretty quickly as well to Withers, and just like that, the Dragons find themselves across the halfway line. Four good tackles from the restart. Timmons. No frills from dummy half stuff. And Barrett beat it to head on the last play. Kick high in the air. Hodgson has to hurry to get to it. Took it in the end with no pressure on him. And a good set of six off the back of some points for the Dragons. Yeah, they roll forward quite easily. That's a danger sign for the West Tigers. Certainly got to muscle up a little bit more in defence. As that set of six was happening, there was a reshuffle in the uh, West Tigers lineup. Moody's gone from right wing over to the left wing. Dean Hallettow's moved into the right centre position. And Shane Elford now has gone out to the right wing. Scandalis will play it. It is the bonus of having someone like Hallettow off the bench for the Tigers. He can play either in the centres. He scored a couple of tries from that position against the Sharks at Leichhardt last year. And also play in the back row if necessary. And just inside the 40, Fitzhenry from dummy half putting the kick in, looking for a 40-20. Simmons able to take it on the full, but a good chase from the Tigers. They limit him to a minimal gain, and he'll play at 15 on his own side of halfway. Bailey playing it here to Cooper. He uses his speed out of the dummy half position. Play many pundits expect to break into the representative ranks at some stage over the next couple of seasons. Here's Timmons. Ranging wide, almost got away from the Reynolds tackle. Prince was there to help him as well. But Jim is by far the bigger of that trio of players. Coming up at the smaller players on the left-hand edge of the Tigers line. Head cuts out one to give it to Cooper. He's got Bailey back on the inside. Cooper, though, decided to offload his Simmons. The pass was too late. Simmons had overrun the play once Cooper was tackled. And the Tigers will have it from just inside their 20. I think Simmons thought that Cooper was actually going to put the football on toe. He was looking to go forward. And Cooper thought that Simmons was back a little bit deeper. The Tigers, they looked to go wide. Just got to go forward, though. Forward, quick play the ball, then look the shift. Don't go the other way around. Patterson playing it. In his own 30. Here's Gibbs now. A flat start. Not to Ashton Sims. Picked up around six or so metres. It's Henry. Sattler wrapping to that left-hand side. Had Hodgson with him. Now the fullback gets it. Chance to show what he can do. But a nice tackle made there by Ashton Sims. Prince. Just chip it over the top of the Dragons' defensive line. He wants it to stay. And he gets a bounce, which keeps it in the field of play. Hornby will bring it back. Slammed the ground there by Prince over the top with O'Neill downstairs. For the first time in a while, they make the Dragons work it away from inside their own 10. And it was a better kick that time by Scotty Prince on the back of a quick play of the ball. He had time to place it where he wanted to. Here's Bailey, met there by Sattler, who came up out of the line to make an effective tackle. Young. Prince, slow to get back in the defensive line. Made himself at Prince, and now they come down the left-hand side and catch Prince out here. The pass was forward. On the last play, they decided not to kick and to run it. It almost caught the Tigers out. 
I'll tell you. No, no, I'm calling them hold, go just like you blokes. Listen, I was giving the tip. You want to go off, that's fine with me. If you, if you want to go out back and get treated, that's all I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, go out the back and get treated. So change over here. Wait there! Mark O'Neill with some blood up to the eyebrow there and also down the bridge of the nose. He gets some attention from the Tigers trainers. Gibbs. Almost away, in fact, was away from the Timmons tackle. It was Thompson who dragged him down from behind. Reynolds to Graham as they go quickly to the left-hand side. Barrett makes a good tackle. Wilson from dummy half. Skipping away and Mark finds them offside. Mate, he has got to make it there. Again, the Dragons. Not the first time in this game up inside the 10. Mate, Barrett. Them. They've got to make it. That's another word with Tony Archer. He thought they were back. Archer disagrees, and the Tigers a chance here to respond to the Hornby try. Patterson, he'll play it. Six metres out. There's some George Illawarra line. Reynolds, the first receiver. Gibbs with him. He's heard of his 5'8". Back towards the defence. Sattler, with Prince outside him now. O'Neill, the support runners were very deep, and Prince had to wait for them. Here's Hodgson, staying alive. He's got Elfin with him, doesn't need him. Hodgson, on the run towards the corner, beats the defence, they hang off. And he used his speed to score the Tigers' first try of the game. He's playing some terrific football this year, Brent Hodgson. He's as safe as anyone at the back, and he can produce a bit of quality in his plate. He sniffs around any man that can offload the football. He's injecting himself in the game when he needs to. And this time, a lovely backhanded pass by O'Neill. Then just drifting across the field. And the Dragons, they make an error in judgment. They don't slide away. They're thinking that he's going to pass. Gets away, Cooper and Simmons staying out on his man. He had to go high on that occasion, Cooper, but he also had to come forward. Just getting in behind, slicing across. Good hit back by the West Tigers, and he gets a chance to convert his own try. You can see the good fend he put it also on Ben Hornby. Got away from him as Hornby came up into the defensive line, and that fend had a little bit of momentum, and he was able to use the speed. The dash to the corner. He's given himself a chance here. To get the Tigers back on level terms. A fair bit of kicking in his time. It would happily hand it over to somebody else. The chance arose. The kick here is a good one. It's great inside the right hand upright. Terrific kick from Hodgson. And the Tigers, six, have drawn level with the Dragon Six. Have a look at this again. Oh, lovely strike from the sideline. Straight through the sticks. The touchies didn't have to move. O'Neill bandaged up, been a real warrior for the West Tigers. Again, getting through plenty of work here this afternoon. We've also got that little bit of a passing game, which makes it difficult to team up when he's carting that ball forward. Plays down that right edge. I suppose if there is a weakness in their back row, it's just they haven't got someone with that leg speed to push through the hole. Look, Nick Graham's looked dangerous on occasions, but he just hasn't had that extra speed to go through. Prince. Taking the kick off, give it off to Patterson. Brings it back into the teeth of this Dragons defensive line. Here's tenth it up for the game. Sims comes back to the bench for the Dragons. Justin Poor out there now. There he is, making a tackle on Dean Hallitau with the help there of Luke Bailey. The dollar slowing the play, the ball down eventually. Comes to Prince, Robbie Farrah out there in 14 for the Tigers. We shuffle things in their forward pack for the moment. It's Graham, stopped by Barrett, and also with us at the Tigers 30 metre line. Prince will do the kicking, but down the middle of the park, Hornby goes to his knees to take it on the full, but with plenty of time, Prince needed to find the turf then and make Hornby pick it up off the ground. Well, he was coming from a good field position if he hadn't been able to kick it in behind. Blacklock had to stay up on the right side. And therefore, there was plenty of space down that edge. They needed to get to their kick. They need to find grass. Just can't keep kicking on the full. 
turning the ball over in good field position. Young will play it for the Dragons. From Withers, it comes to Justin Paul, grabbed by Robbie Farrah. Just 20 years of age. The youngsters, as I said, coming off the bench for the Tigers. Timmons puts a grubber in. There's a chance there for Moody to come up with the football, and he held back, perhaps thinking he was offside. In the end, the Dragons died on it, and they get six more tackles. Thompson is away! He's got Hornby with him, grabbed by Hodgson and also Wilson. Here's Bailey charging onto it, trying to steam his way across the Tigers' try line. Looking to once again hit the lead here from Withers. It comes to Barrett. Back on the inside, Timmons is hitting the hole, but they didn't drop off on the inside. Patterson came across to make the tackle. The pass is in a great one from Withers this time. Blacklock picks it up. He's got support. He pops the ball to Cooper. He will bring it round towards the post. And it was pretty simple in the end. Blacklock made the extra man down the left-hand side. And it was a simple draw and pass to put Cooper over. Well, there's a repeat set of six. The West Tigers looked as though they were out in their feet. They defended it quite well, but then in the end, they just got them for numbers. Look, that's a tough call against the West Tigers. There was no way in the world he was playing at the football. It rebounded, but you make your own luck. An ordinary pass from Withers. He dragged the defenders in. They thought Barrett was getting the football. They had the numbers. They knew where it had to go to. But a bad pass turns into a positive for the Dragons. Blacklock on the outside of Hallett's out. And then an easy two-on-one with the wing up. Cooper making the easy, easy up for, uh, for Head to have a shot at goal. It's a good call with the six again. It really seemed to be a tough one against the Tigers, didn't it? The Dragons were able to use that find the try line in the other corner of the field. Head with the super kick from the sideline to convert the Hornby try. And just inside the 20. This kick is equally as good. And the Dragons again find themselves back in front by six. Paul McGregor hands off the water bottle to the kicker, Matthew Head. And they lead the Tigers 12 points to six here. Six out from the Half-time break. The Tigers were able to hit back pretty quickly when Brett Hodgson scored for them. He converted his own try. And we'll see if they can respond in the remaining minutes before half-time here. Kick down the middle of the park. Bounces up from Hodgson. Withers took it. Gives it off to Justin Paul, who comes back with plenty of speed to be met there by Scandalis. Hornby from dummy half to Bailey. Charge at the Tigers' defensive line. Tackles before the Cooper try. It's Justin Poor again. Having plenty of touches since coming on. Timmons, a close hand down the middle of the ruck, trying to catch them out between those A defenders either side of the play the ball. Head, his own side of halfway, kicking away from Hodgson, and a good kick as well. The game was first class last week against Newcastle and Hodgson cleans up and gives it off to Moody but he was set upon straight away by Gaznia and the Tigers deep inside their own 20 here with Timmons making a tackle on Hodgson. Well it's been the difference hasn't it the kicking game just finding space rolling giving you chase a lot more time to be able to get downfield put the pressure on the back three head really mixing it up. Sattler will play it back to Farrah. Comes to Scandalis. Play it at the 30. And from dummy half, it's Farrah who gets the kick away. But again, they pick out Hornby on the full. And here's the fullback back at the halfway line. Well, I guess they've had plenty of possession, Laurie, but the Dragons certainly have had the better field position. Well, they have, but if they're going to turn the ball back or kick it to them on the full and let Hornby bring the ball back to the 50, they're better off to maybe put the ball high in the air on the fifth tackle or go for a short kicking game. It's the same result. And you're a better chance of maybe affecting something on last play. Good work by Cooper. Who got in behind Hallettau, threw the pass back in the field of play, and then Withers coming through. Couldn't get to it. It comes to Reynolds, who gives it off to Prince. And he can see in the tackle there to Gaznia. Well, they need to hold on here, the West Tigers. They're out in their feet. 
and the Dragons now getting quick play the ball on the back of some good field position. They're starting to control the ball and the possession starting to swing back towards the Dragons. A strong tackle made by Young on Patterson. He came up quickly and crunched him. Now Scandalis. By his former front row partner, Lincoln Withers, will play it at the 20. Here's O'Neill down the short side. He pops it out the back, puts them under pressure. Elford gives it back to Sattler. It worked out well for the Tigers, but they were working themselves into a deep corner up against the sideline for the kick. Prince now will put it through the hands. Reynolds, as they run it on the last play, gave it away to Wilson. Change over. They tried their luck. They forced the issue. Wilson coughs it up. And again, the Dragons have it here at the Tigers 40 with three on the clock. Well, it was odd. It was good play, initiative to run it on the last tackle. But for some reason, Wilson stopped to receive the football. He never actually continued running. It was always going to be easy for the Dragons defender to be able to get him and put some pressure on him. But the Tigers, they've self-destructed in this last 15 minutes on the back of quick play the balls from the Dragons. Good field position. Thompson from dummy half. A flat pass away to Timmons. Searching on either side of the ruck now for the Dragons. The player just five metres away. They can put themselves in with a handy lead at the break here. Here's a kick. Beautifully knocked back into the field of play. Blacklock went into the air. Gasnia came down with it. And Tony Archer says that's four points. They worked it nicely, if unconventionally. And the Tigers might have thought perhaps that the back-back infield from Blacklock went forward. I think they're looking forward to the break, the West Tigers. And it's been the kicking game of the Dragons, which has been great. The attacking kicks, the long kicks. This time, Blacklock going up for the football, realising it. If he takes the football, he's a chance of getting pushed over the sideline. Instead, bats it back down to Mount Gaznia. And Gaznia goes across and gets a four-pointer on the stroke of half-time. The lead starting to blow out now for the West Tigers. And of course, all off the back of the drop ball by John Wilson as the Tigers spread it to the left on the last play of their previous set of six. They could have got to their kick. They had plenty of time. Prince, though, put it through the hands. It cost them plenty of metres. And four points, perhaps six here, with Head in good kicking form today. Once again, out there, pressed up against the sideline. He's shown previously on the Hornby try. He can convert from this position. And he might have done again, hooking back. It fades at the end. It just missed the left hand upright. And it's a nice 10-point buffer that the Dragons should take to the sheds here at halftime. Yeah, unfortunately for the West Tigers, just that we're conceding that try at halftime. The heads are down. The body language says that they, they need the rest. And they need to regroup pretty quickly. The dry Dragons, the momentum has swung. They've come with a tough attitude today, the Dragons. Not doing anything too fancy with the football. Hold! But they're grinding out their victory. Hodgson with the deep kick with just 15 seconds on the clock. Hornby fields it and gives it off to Justin Paul, who brings it back to their 20-metre line. Met there by Patterson and also Farrah. Hornby showing it from dummy half. And that will just about do us for the first 40 minutes here. We'll get the play the ball in. Blacklock from dummy half. The duck under a tackle. And that ends it. 40 gone, 40 to play. And the Dragons in a good position to make it back-to-back -back wins after scoring a handy victory last week against a depleted Newcastle Knights at Wollongong. They lead the Tigers here at half-time. 16 points to six at Telstra Stadium. We'll take a break and come back with all the first half highlights right after this. Half time here at Telstra Stadium. The Dragons and the Tigers cheer girls entertaining the crowd here on Easter Sunday at halftime with the Dragons leading the Tigers 16 points to six. They've both had their chances, but the Dragons have created more and finished more as well. Yeah, the Dragons, certainly the opportunities come in the back half of that first 40 minutes. They started to get a roll on through quick play the balls. Their forwards were attacking in the middle of the ruck. Then they were able to use the ball wide. The Tigers, on the other hand, looked to be one out. 
uh, they were really making it easy for the Dragons defenders. When they started to get a bit of second phase play or, or went wide after a quick play of the ball, it troubled uh, the Dragons' defence. That's something that they've got to keep continuing in the second half. Well, of course, let's take a look at the stats now here at half time. 16 points to 6, the scoreline. The Tigers have had the better of possession, helped by the Dragons giving away penalties when the Tigers have been working it away from their own end, but it's the Dragons who've had better field position. Yeah, the better field position on the back of a better kicking game. The Dragons' kicking game has found a lot of space. They've mixed their kicking game up. They've had short kicks, they've had long, they've had high attacking ones, and they've found space. The Tigers, on the other hand, have certainly struggled. Look, they've been happy with their completion rates, but it's just been coming off their own line, which has been troubling the Tigers. The Dragons, on the other hand, they built the momentum and they got the rewards in the back end of the first 40. The Tigers probably think they're unlucky not to have had a try awarded to Robert Miles, who beat Nathan Blacklock in a contest with the ball off the Reynolds bomb. But as you'll see here, Nick Graham playing outside Reynolds on this particular play, just sneaks in front of the kicker. He's offside, can then not go inside the 10-metre circle. Did that, and the try was ruled a no try. Yeah, well, you summed it up perfectly there, Warren. Look, Miles goes up for the football. He comes down. It was a tremendous leap. He's looked uncomfortable under the high ball, but the fact of the matter was, Graham was in front of the kicker, therefore no try. And, of course, Robert Miles at the other end of the field had an injury when hit by Lincoln Withers in a tackle. His knee was no good. He was out there hobbling around, and the first time the Dragons got the football off the back of that injury, they went down the right-hand side and scored. It's good vision. I, I, I wonder why teams don't do it a great deal in games. You see people get injured, you see how they're struggling and you've got the ball and they go away from the injured player. This time the Dragons took advantage of it. Miles was hobbling around on one leg. Good vision to spot the weakness and they took full advantage of it. And from the sideline, Matthew Head pretty good kick for the rookie kicker. In fact the rookie halfback has been striking them very well here this afternoon. Brett Hodgson was able to respond to that try for the Tigers and get them back on level terms when he went on a searching run close to the Dragons line and used a good fend as well to find the corner. Good try on the back of some good second phase play. That's what they need more of the West Tigers. They're getting a little bit confused when they're going to shift wide. It's always on the back of a slow play the ball. They need to have quick play the balls before they go wide, but keep the second phase up. It's really worrying the Dragons at the moment. The times that they have had the second phase, they've looked quite dangerous. On this occasion, they did get the four-pointer. Look, O'Neill, some of the Dragons defenders get a bit lazy when they assume the tackle is completed. They start to go back. All of a sudden, they realise they're in a bit of trouble. They've got to go forward. Hodgson was quick enough to slice in behind, and from the four-pointer, he kicked a lovely conversion from the sideline to give them a, a six-point uh, all uh, ball game. Made it six all, and it was a six-again call, which went against the Tigers, which led to the Dragons' next try. The Tigers, as you said, during the game were pretty much out on their feet towards the end of this uh, first half and there was the call against John Wilson the ball rebounding off his legs when it's pretty obvious I think that he didn't play at it it didn't matter because the Dragons got six more and then Blacklock a nice draw and pass to put Cooper over the Tigers short down their right hand side yeah it was a terrible pass by Lincoln with us everyone was going into Trent Barrett they assumed that he was going to get the football then when Blacklock picked it up he was already on the outside Palatow they worked the two on one Gave it to Cooper. He went away and scored the foot, uh, scored the try. And, of course, Mark Gasnier finished the scoring for the Dragons in the first half. It came off the back of a kick from Trent Barrett. Nathan Blacklock, having been beaten by Robert Miles earlier in the game, this time up against Jason Moody, was able to just go up. Moody didn't play at the ball, and Blacklock provided a nice little tap back in for Mark Gasnier. Yeah, it was good play there by the Dragons. Blacklock realised that if he was going to catch the football, then Moody would have been able to take him across. He jumped up. He leaped, he pushed it back in. Gasney was backing around, picked up the spoils, went over in the corner. And that's where we have it at half time. The Dragons three tries. Hornby, Cooper and Gasnier. Headers kick two from three. Riddell missed with a penalty attempt. And of course, Honchin, the point scorer for the Tigers, a try and has kicked one from two as well. We'll take a break here on Easter Sunday at Telstra Stadium, but come back to see if the Dragons can go on with it against the Tigers. Both sides, a number of scoring chances in the first half. Lovely ankle tap on Jason Moody. Stopped him from going any further during that first half. And, of course, the crowd continues to build here. Have a second game of the doubleheader coming up after this one between the Tigers and the Dragons. It'll be the Bulldogs up against the Seagulls. And you'll see that game from 6 p.m. right here 
on Fox Sports 1. The Tigers back out to see if they can bridge this 10-point deficit. Brian Hyder, their trainer, going out of screen there with the big pad they used to warm up in the rooms here, deep within the bowels of the grandstand on this western side of Telstra Stadium. And, of course, both sides, two and two from the first month of the season. The Dragons coming off a win against the Newcastle Knights last week at Wollongong. The Tigers made the trip to North Queensland where they beat the Cowboys 18 points to eight. And the Dragons fans who always travel in good numbers, plenty of them are here again. Uh, Easter babies as well, who perhaps are Tigers fans. Not too happy with the scoreline at halftime. Don't worry, plenty of time yet. Maybe the Easter Bunny didn't arrive at that household, Laurie. Might not arrived at that household, Warren, but it certainly arrived at mine. The kids were up very early this morning, eating their Easter eggs. I'm sure plenty of people in the crowd would have snuck a few in here this afternoon and been nibbling on them in the halftime break as the Dragons take the field. I wonder if they had some chocolate at halftime. They might save it for the post-game. Nice cold drink. Easter egg off the back of a win would be a nice way to celebrate Easter Sunday for the Dragons. Dean Young, good in the first half, 18 tackles, six hit-ups, gets off the line, line with plenty of speed and certainly made some good tackles in that first half and is enjoying his work out there today. Trent Barrett, solid effort, plenty of runs towards the line, taking the Tigers on. And of course, that good kick, crossfield, which was tapped back in by Blacklock for the Gaznia try. He's been solid today, Barrett. Expect him to run a lot more in the second half. Thompson certainly been leading the way. They've had a good start to the game. The Tigers had all the possession, but they held their goal line well. And then it started to turn from. And on the back of some good completions, some good go forward, they really made the Tigers pay. Got to start well in the second half. They need to be next to score the Tigers if they're a chance to winning, a chance of winning here this afternoon. Mark O'Neill got rid of the tape. 18 tackles, 7 hit-ups, 3 offloads. They need to continue with the offloading. More support play around the football. When they do that, they look dangerous. Yes, mate. Gotcha. The Tigers last year upset the Dragons in round one. A double header here, which kicked off the 2003 season. 24 points to 20 Bugger. was the scoreline on that occasion. Bugger. We'll probably have to limit the Dragons okay. no more than 20 points here this afternoon. They are to beat them. Riddell back on the bench with Michael Howell and also Ashton Sims there waiting for their chance in the second half. Hodgson gets his back underway. Drives it towards the northern end of Telstra Stadium. And it's Justin Paul who will bring it back out from the kickoff. Good return once again from this rookie forward. Gets it back to the 20 and beyond as Luke Bailey follows up with another good hit up. Here's Thompson. Taking it to the line. Across the 40 already on the first three plays. Two very good hit ups to get this second half underway from the Dragons. Timmons. Running into Reynolds down low with Farrer over the top. We'll play it back for Thompson. Doing the honours at dummy half in the early minutes here. Kick is a good one. It will bounce away from Elford. In fact, off its point, it came back to him in the end. And Reese Simmons was pouring down on top of him and almost snuck away with the ball. Well, it was a tremendous start by the Dragons. What about their go forward play? They're a depleted forward pack, the West Tigers. Haven't got much size there, and it's really showed in that set of six. O'Neill cuts back to the right hand side, tries to find an avenue down that. Blind side as Honcha now works it from dummy half. Patterson up towards that play the ball area. Numbers there for the Dragons. And they do a good job of slowing him down. Farrah from dummy half to Prince. Will come one wide again. The pass isn't a good one. Reynolds had to go down to his bootlaces. And the Tigers start the first half as they finish the oh, start the second half as they finish the first half. Geez, that was ordinary there on Take last it back. play. You've got to run the football, the execution's got to be spot on. And Prince this afternoon has come up with some ordinary passes. Bailey has it for the Dragons, just 15 out from the Tigers' line. 
try here early on for the Dragons. Crush the Tigers' spirits. Hornby from dummy half. Will go himself, the way through. Withers waits, comes to Barrett. He's got Thompson outside him. Shaves his chin as he passes it to Sean Timmons. It comes back to Barrett now, who is wrapped up. Ten out from the Tigers line. Two tackles left for the Tigers to hang on here. Timmons will feed it to Head, who puts the grubber in. Prince will have to field it. Looks up and sees white jumpers in front of him. He can see to the tackle. And the Tigers will drop it out from their own line, using up some gas early on here. Yeah, they are. Great kick by Matty Head. Thought Prince might have taken the chance for another bounce on that occasion, but he went the safety option. And the Tigers, out on their feet already. Sattler throwing the football away, go, trying boy. to slow the clock down, slow the pace of the game down. They need to come Let's up go. with something a little bit special here with a drop kick. Sattler will take it as we go downstairs to Russell Fairfax. Well, news from the Western West Tigers camp is that uh, Robert Miles won't be back. Looks like he's on a cruciate ligament. So disappointing news for them. The big talk in their dressing room was, though, to quicken this game up. Let's push these big dragons forwards around. Unfortunately, as we've seen in this first couple of minutes, the, the forwards of the dragons, well, they're still in control. And here they are with Bailey. Bringing it back towards the 30. Mix up from the goal line dropout. Worked pretty well for the Tigers. His head and now poor. Grabbed there by Scandalis and also Farrah. He'll play at midfield with three tackles gone. Barrett taking it to the line. Thompson runs the decoy. Howe coming in with his first touch in the game. Puts it down. And it comes back to Nick Graham for the Tigers. So they hang on. It's an early pressure from the Dragons. There are some awesome questions in those ten or so tackles. And now Farrell works it away. Takes it across the 30 metre line. We'll see what they come up with here in the back end of this at a six, but they need a good kick. They need a good kick. They also need their outside backs to get in and do a bit of dummy half work. Take a bit of pressure off their forwards, especially after doing a lot of work early in that second half. Their runs weren't as strong. The Dragons just made it too easy. They were lining up, getting numbers, slowing to play the ball down. Kick again from Prince down the middle of the park. And now here's Gaznia doing... What you were saying the Tigers need Laurie working it away, coming in, giving the forward the breather and picking up 20 metres at the same time. Scandalis makes the tackle there on Barrett. His head showing it one way, coming to Dean Young, wrapping around to make the link. Oh, there by Hallatow and also Sattler. 25 out when he plays it. Young, first receiver. Met there by Scandalis. Ball comes back to Barrett now. Some spectacular work there by Cooper. Timmons had Blacklock with him. They hung off and Timmons will score for the Dragons. It develops out of not much in the middle of the park. And Wilson hung off Timmons. Sliding and dropping backwards at the same time. Timmons went around him and makes it 20 points to six. It's one of Timmons' favourite play. Just angle across field, then slice in between defenders. He'll back his strength. You watch Timmons on the outside of Wilson. And Wilson holding off, expecting Blacklock to get the football. There should have been communication there. And that's the things you work on at training. They would have spoken about Timmons slicing across field and straightening up and going in between defenders. A magic bit of play. But you need to be working. You need to know whether you're not going to chase him too far. If the winger cuts back inside, what's my responsibility? Am I still going to chase my centre and leave winger on winger to come back inside? Or do I drop off the centre, let the winger make the tackle? I take uh, care of the winger when he cuts back inside? They're things you work on at training. You don't get them right. You've got to get them right, I should say, on the day. Wilson all had all those questions running through his mind. Came up with the wrong option. And now Matthew Head with Riddell still off the field. Another attempt from wide out. This one hooks and shaves the right hand upright. He's missed his last couple of kicks, but all of them have been very good strikes. And it's a good scoreline now if you're a Dragons fan. They lead the Tigers here 20 points to 6. In the early minutes of this second half. They can control things now, get through their sets from their own end, put a deep kick in and make the Tigers use up their energy reserves from deep inside their own 20. And they've done that very well to start this second half. Hodgson. 
will get us underway once again. He kicks to that northeastern corner. It's Howe who will bring it back for the Dragons. With us. To the way to Justin Paul. The player inside the 30 metre line. Young playing it back to Withers. Just rolling forward too easy, aren't they on the West Tigers? Almost back to the halfway line. And here's Withers from dummy half, rubbering along the ground. It comes to Hodgson. They bring it back outside the Tigers 20. But once again, you're exactly right, Laurie. Plenty of ease with which they were able to move it down the field from the kickoff. And now you Dean move. Young getting caught up there with Hodgson. Some words to say to Tony Archer. Still heard the whistle blow. Contended the fullback had grabbed a hold of his jumper and was holding him down. You see if the Tigers off the back of this penalty. Good kick for line. They'll have it from just outside the Dragons 40. So they can come up with here to try and reply to that Timmons try. And Dallas spun the ground. Farron now comes to Reynolds, sending at first receiver. Not much doing for him. They were spread far and deep to the left-hand side, but Reynolds decided to take the line on on his own. Now Prince from dummy half to Graham comes away to Wilson, who's met by Timmons, who's playing in the right centre position at the moment. Dragons a bit of a reshuffle in their back line. And now a lovely ball from Hodgson away to Reynolds. And it was Hornby who brought him down in a try-saving tackle 10 metres out. Prince gives it off to Sattler, who stands in the tackle. Touched by Young, it should be six more tackles for the Tigers. And it is. That's the zero tackle. Patterson almost lost it there, getting back to his feet. Now Scandalous, met by Thompson. A chance here for the Tigers to get themselves back into the game. Farrah showing it a couple of times. O'Neill picked off by Howe. Reynolds down this left-hand side. Had Graham with him, but there was not much doing for the Tigers. Dragons up very quickly in his face. Wilson feeds it to Reynolds. Prince standing wide once again. Sattler was hanging back on his inside. Sattler from dummy half now. Runs towards Graham. Gives it to him. The Dragons just maintain their position in the defensive line. Hodgson, a step back inside Justin Paul's tackle. Farrah on the last play. Comes back to Reynolds who puts the kick in, but it's too deep and Blacklock in the end took it fairly comfortably. Moody couldn't get there in time. And a good set in defence by the Dragons. The Tigers, though, not showing a lot in attack. Good <laughs> defence, Warren. That was one of the... Let's worst go, sets go. of six I've seen in a long time. They had no idea what they were doing. They were just running around. They set up for nothing. And someone's got to take control. It was fifth play, and they're all looking around going, who was going to kick the football? Tim Sheen's unhappy with that set of six. Marking instructions from the sideline. Now Luke Bailey. Injured in the tackle here. Hang on. Stay there, stay Time off for the moment, but he bounced back to his feet wanting to play the ball. The, the right forearm, okay. perhaps, right. of Sattler, just okay. sneaking up around that chin region. Out here, Scott. Dazed the man they call Bull. Come out here, mate. I'll show you. I'll explain it to you. And having seen the replay. the video, That's the policy now. It's a high tackle, OK? Got to keep him down. Wait there. Scott Sattler is penalised for the high tackle. Well, Bailey was down injured. Sattler claiming that he never went high. But, um, penalty does go to the Dragons. Here's Cooper tapping it. Gives it off to Dean Young. He'll play it. 40 out on the Tigers' line. Here's Withers down the short side. They hit him with some vigour down there. You heard the contact as Hallertown got up to meet him. Head. And he's OK. Searching for the Tigers' 20 metre zone. Barrett now comes to Thompson. 
Sutton was stopped there by Prince, but they look promising on that right-hand side again. Barrett wants to go quickly. Timmons is there with him. He comes back infield. Hornby away to Brent Kite, who was stopped down low by Robbie Farrar. Last play for the Dragons. Barrett had support outside him, but Put only in Michael Howell. And when he saw that, he hung on to it and is very upset they didn't get to their kick to try and force six more tackles. I'm pretty confident that Barrett didn't hear the fifth tackle call. You look at him at the end of that set of six, and Selvin gets the football. Go Dragon, go Dragon. And we're going to force him across the sideline. He realised that. Pop the ball back on the inside for Hodgson. We'll play it here now to Welford. Alatau. Plays it back to Farrah. Sattler. Penalised for the high tackle on Bailey. They hung on as the Dragons came down the field and now Farrah from dummy half. He just got no punch out of dummy half. They need the outside backs or even Fitzhenry now time to inject him into the game. Get some dash out of dummy half. Get the Dragons on the back foot. Then be able to do something with the football. At the moment, it's not worrying the Dragons defense. They're having a field day. The last play again, and Prince offloaded it to Rob Farrer, the hooker, who put a wobbly old kick in, went straight to Gaznia. We brought it back to the Dragons, and here they are once again at the halfway line with Gaznia working away from dummy half. Alatau, lucky not to be penalised for not being at marker. Withers to head, comes to Barrett with players in motion for the Dragons. Timmons, again this time, comes to Prince. Puts it off to Blacklock, and he's tackled just inside the Tigers' 20. Well, look dangerous again here. Barrett taking it to the line. A good pass away to head, and one more is all they needed. Hornby backing up. Tony Aster wants to take a look. And a possible obstruction play in the lead up. I don't think it was an obstruction play. I think it was a well worked play. Just a nice second man. On to Hornby. Barrett starting to get a few more touches of the football now. He's got a trail runner. He's got someone coming short. And then Head just poking his nose through the gap. And then lovely support play by Hornby. This will be okay. See Barrett running the football out in two hands. Kite. I think he just made a wrong decision, O'Neill. He took Kite front on, but the ball went behind Kite. O'Neill coming away from the direction the pass was going. That will be in the mind of video referee Paul Simpkins, who had a look at it. Another angle of it here. Barrett gets the pass away. You see kite there coming through on the decoy run met by O'Neill and like you I would think green lights well O'Neill just makes the wrong option it's, it's a correct option he needed to go to kite but the outside men in Hallatau he needed to push in on Matty Head also it was just the wrong read or wrong communication between those two players the Dragons can't get penalised for that that's the idea of a decoy. Had O'Neill been heading towards Matthew Head, then might have a case that he was impeded by Brent Kite, but he was coming up with a front-on tackle on him. And we'll see if Paul Simpkins says it's a try for the Dragons. He does. It's a handy lead now. 24 points to six, the scoreline. They lead the Tigers. And Ben Hornby picks up the third double in his career. It was a good play. We mentioned Barrett getting his hands on the football a lot more. Second man play. And Matty Head really starting to look comfortable in the seven jersey. His kicking game being outstanding. He's directed the team around the paddock. And then the support play. You know the Dragons are on their game when people keep turning up. And there's half breaks made. They're continuing on from the good form they showed last week. Defensively, they've been great. Although it must be said, the Tigers haven't thrown too many questions at them. And they have reverted to the Tigers of old as far as attack inside the Dragons 20 here today. Not too many options. And head from right in front. The conversion is good. And St. George Illawarra lead by 20. 
this game safely in hand, you would think now the Tigers have used up plenty of petrol in the opening 55 minutes or so of this game. It's 26 points to six. Tim Sheen's hoping that the Tigers might revert a trend where they haven't been able to make it back-to-back -back wins since the 2002 season. Certainly find themselves in a very big hole right now. Hodgson, the kickoff. Yeah, he brought back out, this time by Brent Kite, who was met by Scandalis. The Tigers are pretty quickly on the chase then. Met him at the 15-metre mark. Now Bailey, taking the ground on his back. Quanton Harrison out there for the Tigers in 15. His debut last week in Townsville against the North Queensland Cowboys is with us from dummy half. Goes to Thompson. Michael Howe, hard to miss in that red and white zebra headgear. They played inside the 40. Here's Hornby kicking away from Hodgson. It will be Elford who will pick it up on the first bounce and bring it back towards the Tigers 30. It's really been a standout for the Dragons, their kicking game. They found space when they had to. The kick chase has been on song. They've rattled up good numbers in the tackle. And really peeled off tackles quite quickly against the West Tigers. Tuned into their tackle count before they've got decent field position. The ball forced here. And it's likely that Wilson got to it. In fact, he didn't. Blacklock came up with it for the Dragons. Harrison forced the pass. And Wilson couldn't get to it. And Timmons it is who'll play it for the Dragons just outside the Tigers 30. Mark Riddell comes back into the game for the first time since the 17 minute mark of the first half. He spent almost an entire half of football in minutes on the bench watching the Dragons rack up a 20 point lead here. Thompson playing it to Riddell. Straight to dummy half he goes. Head. Comes it back on the inside for Cooper. Met by Harrison and also Farrah. Looking for the field goal from right in front. How are we boys, right? With a 20-point lead, he decides to make it 21. The dealer wins. <laughs> well, strange decision by Trent Barrett. It takes them out to a 21-point lead. I don't think it makes much difference with a 20-point lead to a 21-point lead, but they do get the set of six, uh, receive the ball back again. And I suppose they're just denying the Tigers the ball. It's just so easy how they're just rolling out of their trouble area. The Tigers just can't match. When you're controlling the football, when you've got the field position, a big forward pack comes into play against a smaller one. No doubt about it. You've just got the bulk. You roll forward. It's so easy for your kicking game to happen on top of that. It must have seemed very easy to Barrett. who was sitting there for him, so he said, I'll snap this. Give us a 21-point lead. Here's Bailey bouncing off defenders, got away from Sattler. Here's a big left hand on Fitzhenry at the same time and put it back another 20 metre gain for him. Plenty of metres for Bailey so far in this game. Riddell gives it off to Barrett. He'll take it across the halfway line. Riddell kicking from dummy half, looking for the sideline. They're doing it comfortably, aren't they now? They are picking up plenty of metres from their own end from every kickoff. And Riddell, a super kick, will force the Tigers to work it away from their own tent. Yeah, it's just a good grinding victory this afternoon for the Dragons. They haven't done anything special. And I think that's the attitude that Nathan Brown would have wanted his players to bring to the occasion. They did it last week against Newcastle and points flowed. And I think a similar trend will happen this afternoon. There's still plenty more points in the Dragons. I doubt whether the Tigers can hold on. Here we go, John. Put it in. Put it in. Down. Now Reynolds from the scrum win. Give it off to Moody. Playing it quickly. It's Halatau. It's not built by Howe and also Kite. Still the Tigers forwards who are working it away from their own end. Sattler having done so much work is an easy target. The likes of Young and also Riddell who's out there fresh. You see, he's done a tough, the new captain. His third game as skipper off the Tigers after Darren Centre 
broke his arm and now the ball was knocked forward into Luke Bailey as Hodgson ran the line for the Tigers and again the Dragons get it in Tigers territory here. Yeah, well, I don't know about that one. I think it just come out in the tackle. I don't think it was knocked forward from Hodgson. He looks to have control out of it and then Timmons comes through and knocks the ball forward. A bit of tough call against Hodgson as it turned out. Cooper, Bazniar outside him, gives it back to Barrett. Some broken field chances here for the Dragons. Kite, and they kept it coming to the right-hand side. The Tigers were short on the left-hand side of their defensive line, but Kite settled things down the middle of the park, and Bailey will follow suit to take it inside Tigers territory. Almost lost it as he got back to his feet. And here's Barrett once again, standing very close to the dummy half there at first receiver. Just shuffling it on to Kite. And Dill goes back to the left. Head cuts out Young, gives it to Gaznia. A left foot step. Had the right arm cock for an offload. It's still there. He was thinking about reaching out to score his second try of the game. Young fires it back to Riddell. Shaped up for a kick and then gave it to Barrett. He came to Prince. And Barrett hit the turf. For a moment there, I thought he might have injured either an ankle or a knee. He's a little bit dodgy getting back to his feet still. Head firing a long pass over the top to Howe. And he will play it here on the last play. Yeah, if you're going to go wide on the last play, it needs to be a flat pass. Not a loopy one, just gave the Tigers defenders plenty of time to get to their mark. There's a good tackle, ball and all tackle. Change over Tigers again. They've had plenty of practice at this, the Tigers, this afternoon. There is Barrett back in the defensive line. He looks okay for the moment. The trainer just shuffled him out to the left hand side of their line as Hodgson once again putting his body on the line here. He's the target man for the Tigers. It's not a rangy second row they're looking for on those plays. It's Brett Hodgson, the fullback. Uh, lucky perhaps here that Hallatow wasn't real to have knocked it on. Farrah from dummy half almost got caught with the ball. And they put the kick in eventually through Fitzhenry, who's playing out there on that right-hand side for the Tigers. But again, Hornby got to it on the full. And will bring it back to the 30-metre line for the Dragons. He positioned himself so well, doesn't he, Benny Hornby? And the Tigers have certainly struggled with their kicking game. Scotty Prince got to take more control. Last play, you need to know what's required, what you want to do. Timmons again running with the football. Timmons play it back to Riddell. Thompson looking it up towards the Tigers 20. Still plenty of time on the clock for the Dragons to add to this scoreline. Here's head to Barrett who will put a kick in. This time, Gaznia is the target. Oh, he was put down by Shane Elford. There was no pressure on him back there in the in goal area. We might have heard some footsteps and a couple of grabs at it. They'll drop it out from their own goal line. It was a simple put down, wasn't it? Yeah, he needed to take that, Elford. Needed to take that one. Had plenty of time. And Gaznia was steaming down. But the possession rate has turned around in the second half. The Tigers have turned over too many cheap balls. And the Dragons are making them pay. Really like a training run now for the Dragons. Plenty of options. There's plenty of open field for them. They should be able to rattle up a few points in this next 16 minutes if they take the right options. Ashton Sims back out there now after a break on the bench. Kite will take it forward. The Tigers will want to try and limit the damage here if they can. Riddell from dummy half goes to Barrett or oh, hand a good ball for Hornby who hung on to it and Cooper off the back of some slick hands between them grabs his second try got to say I had a small doubt about one of the passes which might have been forward it was the one from head to Hornby as they went from Barrett that one there yeah, well, was a sure short was one was short but I'm pretty sure it was forward but it was a good play a reverse play at the back of the ruck. Barrett on the head. Head on to Hornby. Forward pass. They got away with it. On to Cooper. Cooper scoring next to the sticks. 
They've had some luck today, the Dragons, but they've been the most dominant team. They've looked good. No problems with that one there. Maybe slightly forward that one from head back on the inside to Hornby. Hard to call on those ones where it's just a short pass off the hip. Cooper Gramp, his second of the day. And now Riddell from right in front. Make this a big scoreline. And as you say, Laurie, plenty of time for the Dragons. Who scored 48 last week against Newcastle down there at Wollongong. I'm going to go close to that mark today. Riddell loves them from that range. And Nathan Brown can do it easy this afternoon. 33 points to six is the scoreline. One of the few times in a coach's career he can just sit back and enjoy the next 10 or so minutes. Well, he will if his team continues to play like this. He won't if they concede some tries. Because they've worked so hard now for 65 minutes of the game defensively, as they did for 80 minutes last weekend. It'd be great for the confidence going in next week against Penrith, knowing that you kept teams to one try. Newcastle didn't score them last weekend. There's only been one try conceded here this afternoon. As Sims goes forward, that will be some day down there at Wollongong next Sunday. With some George Illawarra Blake, Dragons playing in the Blake. Illawarra Steelers outfit as they earn a penalty here. Marking the first game of the Steelers' inclusion in the Premiership. It was known back in the New South Wales Rugby League competition. Back in 82, they took on the Panthers, and now here's how. Grabbed by the Tigers' defence. Moody made the tackle, and it was a good tackle as well. Here's Head going wider to Barrett, turning it back on the inside for Young. Lance Thompson left, punching in a knee behind the play, says he's OK. Ashton Sims charging at the line. He'll crash across. Sim up. I got there a little late. I just want to see whether he drops it. Have well, a look at the put down here. Sims is certainly confident he didn't drop it. And they are carving them up at the moment, aren't they? Well, they are. We mentioned it's been a training run on the back of heavy possession. Big forwards coming off the bench. Poor done a fantastic job, as did Ashton Sims, as is Luke Bailey, Kite, Thompson. Timmons has been great. Their forwards have really played well. He enjoyed that, Ashton. This will be a four-pointer. The Tigers are doing it tough to get their hands on the football. Why wouldn't Ashton Sims celebrate? Hoping for green lights to signal that he scored the first try of his first grade career. And he's done exactly that. The congratulations from his teammates. He was pretty pumped up about it. The hands went in the air like he'd won the grand final. It might be his shout tonight. Well, it was great work. Head out of dummy half, then to Sims. Just too big and strong. Their bolt was certainly told here this afternoon. They've controlled the ball. They've made very few errors in the second half. At half time, the possession rate was 55% to 45 to the Dragons. In the second half, it's turned around nearly 60% to the Dragons. A big swing. Very few errors. Been a great second 40 minute performance. Played a conservative game in the opening 20 minutes or so. As the Tigers tied at the back end of the first half. And made them play with a couple of late tries. And Riddell once again from right in front. Another two points for the Red and Whites. And they lead them 39 points to six here at Telstra Stadium. Hodgson just about to be wearing his right boot out in the second half. And we'll see if the Tigers can just stand the tide here for a moment. Dragons have been rolling it down the field with some great hit-ups, and here's Kite bringing it back out at great force again. He charged at Sattler, who got up hopping, injuring a knee or an ankle, perhaps. 
off their line pretty quickly here. Bryce Gibbs is back out there for the Tigers. Sims got up pushing at him. And now three of them get there to make the tackle. As Thompson has an ice pack applied to that lower hamstring area or knee. And we'll see if he's okay. Riddell kicking from just on top of the 40 metre line. Hodgson will take it on the full at his own 10. With 11 minutes to go. And the Tigers have stopped the Dragons from once again scoring off the kickoff. Reynolds. He's tried at 5 8. Of course, Benji Marshall was playing in the 5 8 position last week when he was injured against the North Queensland Cowboys, and they've missed a little bit of the spark and the speed around the ruck area that Marshall might have been able to provide here this afternoon against the Dragons. It might have been enough to be the difference, obviously, but they just need that somebody with a bit of spark, a bit of footwork to create something out of nothing. They do, but they also need some good go forward, and they need some bulk. And two of their front rowers and Frankie and Peyton are both out injured. And they've certainly got a lot more strike when Marshall's in the side, Butner's in the team. And the competitiveness of their skipper, Darren Senna, is an aggressive player, enthusiastic player, and really leads the Tigers well. Horrendous injury list to the list. They get a chance though to regroup. They've got the bind next weekend. Here's Gazdier from Dummy Har. Comes to Sims who tried to pass. It was touched by the Tigers and knocked on. They just can't take a trick here at the moment, can they? Inside the 10-minute mark remaining in this game. And it's the Dragons will get it back from the scrum with six more tackles. You see Sims just showing it. And then as he came to Harrison, it was Harrison who flung the left hand out and knocked the ball down. Yeah, plenty of tackle practice for the Tigers. Nathan Brown's made his way down to the sideline. He'd be happy with how he charges at plate. He'd be wanting them to concede no more points, though. Cooper plays at the halfway line. Gasmian. Both played on that left-hand side in the second half with a reshuffle for the Dragons. Young will play it. Just outside the Tigers' 30. Barrett to the outside and give it off to Michael Howe. Timmons from dummy half to Barrett. Head back on the inside for Hornby. The same Zero. play that saw Cooper score not that long ago. It almost came off again. This time Hornby put it down. The Tigers have it through Nick Graham. Patterson. Defence was so good last week, the Dragons against the Knights, especially in that first half. They were getting up off their line very quickly, and again here, uh, rubbing the Tigers' noses in it with some strong defence. They're running to the field. Cooper this time took too long. Got up and spun around and looked at the touch judge, as though the touch judge was barking instructions to him. It's almost as if to say, well, he told me I could stay here. <laughs> He's, he's holding it. I think he might have been claiming the hand was kept in tight by the West Tigers player. They weren't releasing it. Prince. Later Harrison. Blacklock came in to give it back to Scott Prince. Farrah from Dummy Half. Sattler now. Later Patterson. A few times in the second half, the Tigers have it in Dragons territory. A few and far between their forays at this end of the field. Graham picked up at a good tackle there by Michael Howell, and now Farrah from dummy half to Reynolds. Rubbers in behind them. Fitzhenry had his run checked, and because of that, Hornby got over there and was able to field it just in the field of play, and will play it here five out from his own line. A good little play down the short side. The winger had to be there, had to stay up in the line. Hornby got across there. And the pressure was on. At least they got a dominant tackle on play one. Found the space. Dragons forwards had to make their way back. They don't start to become involved until play three. The Tigers are set. They can move off their line. They can get numbers in. The Dragons just don't have that roll on continually happening from a good kick. Riddell from dummy half. Kick 
from Barrett. The one motion inside the 40, and Hodgson knew he had to get there, otherwise it was going to be Dragon's possession on the scrum. And the fullback been very solid today, but he's had plenty of traffic coming towards him at various stages. Wilson gives it to Moody. Take it outside the Tigers 20 here. He'll offload it away to Moody. Don't forget, coming up at 6 p.m. on Fox Sports 1, that's Eastern Time, of course, you'll see the Bulldogs up against the Sea Eagles. That will be followed at 7.45 to bring you the clash between the Panthers and the Melbourne Storm up there at Penrith this afternoon. The perhaps new Premiership favourites and defending Premiers, of course, up against the Melbourne Storm, who are one win and two loss to start the season, but their form has been very solid in those three games. Gaznia, terrific athleticism to get back and take that kick on the full. And because of that, instead of picking it up in his own in goal area, here he is playing it at almost the 30. You'd like to see him get involved, don't you, Mark Gaznia? Terrific speed. He's a big man. He's got all the skills. Been shifted out to that left wing in the second half for the injury to Reese Simmons. Blacklock playing it as it comes away to Barrett. Got his hands on the football plenty of times here this afternoon and has taken the line on a lot of times as well. Head from outside the 40. We'll find the touchline just outside the Tigers 20. They are coasting here at the moment. I don't know what gear they actually reached at any one stage, perhaps fourth. They've just got to back a couple of cogs now and we'll cruise here through the final four minutes. I don't even think they reached fourth, Warren. I think it's just been a control performance by the Dragons. They've just come with a good attitude this afternoon to play tough, compete. And if they do that, they've got players in the team that can create opportunities. But they've got to play well as a unit. 17 men have to contribute. If they do that, they're always a good chance of winning. You just can't rely on three or four players to be off. Now, Wilson, looping players. Still going here, bouncing away from the Ashton Sims tackle, who eventually got to him. Here's Harrison from Dummy Half, putting a step on as he came to Luke Bailey. He's at the halfway line when he plays it back to Farrah. Got away from the Howe tackle. And they've made good metres here in the first three plays. Off the back of the scrum win, Reynolds. The way to Sattler, has got Hodgson outside him. He lost it forward, knocked back to the Tigers. No six again call. Sure, came off one of the Dragons players then. Here's Riddell. Calling something, Nick Gray. Perhaps he has a cut around the head area. And Riddell was trying to get the whistle to blow. Prince will play it for the Tigers. It's Farrah. Gives it to Sattler. He'll put it in the air. And Blacklock once again will fly forward and come down for it for the Dragons. There were plenty of Tigers chasing through. Scandalous was one of them with Wilson. And Blacklock took it beautifully. He made an attempt at that, didn't he, Nathan Blacklock? He had his eyes set and he wanted to get to the football. They don't want to see, concede any cheap tries. Gaznia, one-on-one. Good tackle by Fitzhenry. Cooper standing the dummy half run back to Riddell. Flat ball away to Hornby. Into some space he comes and what a pass out the back for Justin Paul. He's running like a winger himself. Barrett was there, tried to kick it forward and it eventually comes to Scandalous. What looked to be a certain try goes begging for the Dragons. Well he needed to hold it, get up quick and play the ball. But he showed tremendous speed, didn't he, Justin Paul? They got some good, exciting young players coming through their ranks. Poor Sims, Dean Young, Furman, Head. All these guys will play a big role in the future of the Dragons. And their senior players aren't that old. They're all around the 26, 27 Put mark. Line, Put right, right things ahead for the Dragons. The Tigers earn a penalty here. Here's the bust again. Hornby off the Riddell pass, went straight through them. A lovely flick pass away to Justin Poor. He had Barrett looming up, took it that extra 10 metres or so instead of perhaps passing early to Barrett, giving him a chance to outpace Hodgson to the line. 
But it won't matter here this afternoon because as the clock ticks through the final 90 seconds, the Dragons have done very well defensively and scored a heap of points at the same time. Farrah takes it forward. Tigers perhaps their last set of six with the ball in their hands. They'll need the break after this. Hodgson ducks straight through a tackle and will get his second four-pointer of the game. In a beaten side, he has been very good this afternoon. Scored a try in the corner in the first half to get them back level at six all, but it's been all the Dragons since that time. And it was simple work. He just ducked through the defensive line. The Dragons dropped the intensity, and Hodgson gets number two today. Yeah, good work by Hodgson. He's looked dangerous when he's had the football. He's had to kick return a lot this afternoon. Going through Howell and Matty Head. And had the speed to beat Hornby to go over and score in the corner. A lot to like about his performances over the last five weekends. It's been a tough afternoon for the former State of Origin fullback. He can hold his head high. It's going to be a big, big victory for the Dragons. Hodgson will ensure this game ends with the conversion attempt from wide out. Well, they were so close to going the rest of the game without conceding another try. Hodgson crosses in the 79th minute. Two tries for him this afternoon. He makes it three now on the season. And just dispenses with one of the sponsor signs to give himself a fair run up at the kick here. Mentioned Laurie, the Tigers have the bye next week. And of course, that Dragons Panthers clash now at Wollongong should ensure a bumper crowded win stadium next Sunday. Shown some very good form in the last two weeks. Hodgson from wide out. The kick slews away to the left hand side. And the Dragons run out winners here at Telstra Stadium this afternoon 39 points to 10. It was a good performance by the Dragons this afternoon. Some standout performers. They just had too much class for the West Tigers. The White West Tigers, they'll regroup, they'll hit back. They need to get some troops back on the paddock. Well, they scored some good tries. Of course, Timmons got the first of them in this second half. Hornby also crossed. He got a lovely pass from Trent Barrett. Head did the rest of the work, ball back on the inside. Barrett, of course, kicked a field goal. Cooper put it down right behind the post as well. Congratulations from Dean Young. Ashton Sims was able to crash over from close range to get the first try in his first grade career. And, of course, Matt Cooper also grabbed another one to get two for the game. Hornby did likewise. Gaznia Timmons and Sims all scored tries. Head kick three from five. Riddell two from three. Barrett, a field goal, which gave them a 21-point lead at one stage. Hodgson, all the points for the Tigers, two tries, and he also kicked one from three. And they are tied as they make their way back to the dressing room, the beaten Tigers. But, of course, there's still more football to come right here on Fox Sports tonight. The Bulldogs will take on the Sea Eagles. That game, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Fox Sports 2. Please make note of that. Fox Sports 2 at 6 p.m. And then following also on Fox Sports 2 at 7.45 Eastern, we'll bring you that clash from Penrith between the Panthers and the Melbourne Storm. Make sure you catch those games later on. But thank you for joining us, of course, here at Telstra Stadium this afternoon. Don't forget you'll see NRL scoreboard live tomorrow night from 8 p.m. Eastern. That's on Fox Sports 1. We'll wrap up all seven games from Round 5 of the Telstra Premiership. But until we see you then, thank you for joining us here today at Homebush. And on behalf of Russell Fairfax and Laurie Daly, I'm Warren Smith. It is goodbye from Telstra Stadium.